Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in Dabba reading, Psalms 34 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, and they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile depart from evil and do good seek peace and pursue it the eyes of the lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry the face of the lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth the righteous cry and the lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles the lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivereth him out of them all he keepeth all his bones not one of them is broken evil shall slay the wicked and they that ate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Okay guys, so in this chapter, David is singing praises unto God, as he always is. And he's speaking of how the Lord actually redeems him, how the Lord has changed the countenance of those that trust and fear him. All the Lord redeem those that trust and fear him. All the Lord provides for those that trust and fear and love him. He's speaking of the goodness of God, the rewards of the righteous here, because the Lord is indeed with them. The Lord encamps with them. The Lord hears their cries and the Lord hearkens unto their heart. The Lord does not leave them to be persecuted, to be afflicted by their enemies, but he indeed delivers them from their enemies and cause them to be lifted up. And for those who do not trust in the Lord and those who do not fear and love him, those who actually seek to persecute his people, he actually destroys them and that is just what he does he utterly destroys them and so doesn't it actually pay off to be in god's presence you know to be a part of god's kingdom there are so many rewards why would you want to do otherwise why would you want to be on the side of evil for a moment's pleasure because it's just a moment pleasure that you get when you're in sin it feels that way in the moment but you're just killing your soul and your spirit not realizing it and that's what the devil wants to do to you slowly kill your soul man and you don't even realize it until it's probably too late or until he has you so trapped that there's no way out but let me tell you he thinks there's no way out but There is indeed a way out. There's always a way out. And that is Jesus. When you call upon the name of Jesus, when you actually reach out to Jesus, when you reach out to God, when you ask him to deliver you 
and you truly desire deliverance, he will come true for you. And if you surround yourself also with people who know the Lord and knows how to actually intercede on your behalf, then they can also help to break the bondage that you're in. Okay? Alright guys, so I'm going to leave you with that. Okay? So guys, please remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not yet gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.